The Toyota Way, 14 Management Principles from the World's Greatest Manufacturer by Jeffrey K. Liker, published in 2003. In The Toyota Way, engineering professor Jeffrey K. Liker explains how businesses can improve operations by adopting Toyota's underlying ideologies. Since the Japanese company's founding in the 1930s, Toyota has dedicated itself to continually improving both its products and processes. The company invented a production method called the Lean Method, or the Toyota Production System, TPS, which has helped countless businesses eliminate waste, or MUDA, in their manufacturing process. The 14 principles that make up the Toyota Way allow the company to manufacture products that meet consumer expectations as well as market demand. Toyota encourages an atmosphere where employee safety and well-being is prioritized. The company famously avoids layoffs, instead reassigning workers to different manufacturing processes or departments. By emulating Toyota's principles and practices, an executive can build a profitable and efficient company without sacrificing quality or overworking employees. In the late 1800s, a young boy from rural Japan named Sakichi Toyota noticed how hard the women in his family had to work at weaving. Inspired to decrease the amount of work for weavers, Toyota invented an automated loom with a built-in mechanism to stop production whenever an error occurred. After Toyota opened his first factory in 1926, his invention quickly spread throughout the country. Later, Toyota encouraged his son, Kichiro Toyota, to start an automobile business. He instructed Kichiro to run the company in such a way that it would contribute to the betterment of society. In so doing, he demonstrated the first of the 14 guiding principles Toyota has developed over its history. That businesses should base their decisions on stable, lasting philosophy rather than on annual profits or quarterly company earnings. More than a decade later, the Lean Method was invented by Tiichi Ono, a Toyota plant manager, who wanted to improve on the assembly line created by Henry Ford. Assembly lines allow companies to quickly make uniform products, but also reward leaders for the number of items they create, rather than whether their methods are profitable or productive. Ono recognized that standard mass production often resulted in stockpiled inventory, which could mask problems in the company's workflow. TPS, on the other hand, required Toyota to consider how each action would be valuable to the customer. TPS further required the company to strive for a flow system, which creates a product in one continuous process and only initiates the manufacturing process when the customer needs the product. Toyota has encouraged other companies to use the TPS method and has coached other businesses directly on how to apply the company's principles. While perfect flow will never be achieved, TPS can still be used as an aspirational ideal. Companies that unsuccessfully try to implement the Lean Method tend to fail because they do not adhere to the 14 principles of the Toyota Way. The first principle, as mentioned above, is to create a company that focuses on long-term strategy. The second is to implement a method that invites continuous improvement, or Kaizen. The third principle is to create a manufacturing process called a just-in-time system, which uses customer demand to determine how quickly to restock materials and finish products. The fourth principle encourages companies to even out production volumes, thereby easing stress on staff and machinery alike. The fifth principle mandates that companies should fix problems as they arise, even if it means temporarily halting production. Under the sixth and seventh principles, Companies are instructed to standardize their methods and use visual systems that help leaders keep track of manufacturing. The eighth principle encourages companies to only use technology if it adds value to the production process. The ninth, tenth, and eleventh principles ask companies to develop leaders, employees, and partners who thoroughly embody the business's guiding philosophy. The 12th and 13th principles state that organizations learn and grow when they solve problems and make decisions as a group. Last, the 14th principle encourages relentless improvement along with habitual reevaluation of existing methods. 
These principles are not synonymous with TPS, but are essential to its effectiveness. Implementing TPS and the principles of the Toyota Way may take time and incur initial costs, but companies that successfully do so will learn how to create valuable products in healthier, more productive work environments. This report uses the second edition of the Toyota Way, which was released in 2004. Key Insights 1. TPS is best learned through experimentation and selective implementation. 2. Most jobs have tasks, which can be standardized and placed into a one-piece flow system. 3. Companies can standardize production methods without eliminating flexibility or learning opportunities. 4. Creating a diagram of the production process can help a company identify MUDA. 5. Businesses can prevent overproduction by using visual systems to initiate the next step in a process. 6. To maintain flow, companies must be willing to temporarily halt production. 7. Buying better technology will not create a lean manufacturing process. 8. Toyota's corporate culture has remained intact because it has carefully cultivated its leaders.